Hello, I'm David Wallace, and I'm going to introduce the concept of medical image segmentation using deep learning. So why use deep learning networks for segmentation? Segmentation is a key step in many clinical pipelines. It is important for diagnosis, monitoring and treatment of patients. Manual segmentation is time consuming, especially in 3D. It is also prone to inter-expert variability, meaning the precise segmentation depends on the expert and even intra-expert variability, meaning the same expert will draw a different segmentation at a different time. Because of these factors, recently many deep learning approaches have been proposed. These offer a quick and consistent alternative. On the right, we have an example of an automated segmentation. In this example, different organs and tissues have been segmented on a 3D CT scan. On the left, we see a deep learning based segmentation and on the right, we see the expert-based ground truth. The different organs are shown in different colors. We can see visually that the two segmentations are very similar. How does it work? For classification tasks, the output layer generally has as many nodes as there are classes. For segmentation tasks, we need to output an image the same size as the input image. So the network architecture needs to be adapted accordingly. With this output, the value of each pixel or voxel represents the segmentation class of that voxel. So this could be the specific organ in the example on the previous slide. This output segmentation is measured against a ground truth, often an expert delineation using a metric. Two common metrics are the Jacquard index and the dice score. Say we have our model based segmentation A and our expert based ground truth segmentation B. The Jacquard index is the ratio of the intersection of the two segmentations to the union of the two segmentations. The dice score is two times the intersection divided by the sum of the sizes of the two segmented regions. Both these metrics are zero when there is no overlap between the predicted and ground truth regions and one when there is perfect overlap. Now I'm going to talk about three different examples showing where medical imaging segmentation has been applied to real problems. First, the example shown on the introduction slide from 2016. Here, they use a deep learning network to segment several organs and tissues on a CT scan. 3D augment segmentation provides information to support diagnosis, surgery and therapy, and is central to planning radiation therapies. In this paper, they segment 2D slices separately, then combine the slices to give a full 3D segmentation. They achieve an average Jacquard similarity coefficient of 84% across 19 types of tissue compared to an expert-based ground truth. The segmentation of a full 3D scan takes only a one minute, whereas the equivalent manual segmentation would take many hours. Secondly, an example of tumour segmentation. Tumour segmentation allows for extraction of quantitative features from the tumour regions, such as size and shape. We can also extract radiomic features such as heterogeneity of the tumour, which can be indicative of patient outcome or treatment response. In this paper from 2017, they segment brain tumours using multiple MRI sequences. To do this, they use 3D data, but rather than inputting whole images into the CNN, which would be very large, they split the images into 3D patches. They use patches at different scales, low and normal resolution, which allows information at different scales to be captured. The model achieved top results on two segmentation challenges. On the right, we see some examples comparing the manual segmentation and the CNN based segmentation. We can see that they are very similar with slight differences, such as in the middle example. Finally, an example of histological slice segmentation from a paper from 2019. The morphology of nuclei on histology slices is the main basis for current tumor diagnosis. An in-depth understanding of the morphological changes of the nucleus is key to the diagnosis and identification of tumours, and segmentation is a key part of this process. It is a challenging task due to the diversity of staining procedures, cell morphologies and cell arrangements. In this study, they use a modified UNET architecture, which is one of the most popular image segmentation architectures, to segment the slices, achieving a dice score of 0.8. On the right, we again see some examples of the actual images on the left, the ground truth segmentation in the center, and the CNN's outputs on the right. Again, we can see it's quite faithful to the original segmentations. 
Hopefully this has given you a good idea of the concept of medical imaging segmentation, how it is used, and some examples showing the variety of applications.